virtual conferences. They put us in the position to do what we have not done before, which is giving a pre-recorded talk. This video has 7 tips for you on how to improve your pre-recorded videos. Enjoy! For a researcher, there are three key points for success. The ability of speaking, writing and the values of the presented ideas. But since you are interested in this topic of recording talks for a virtual conference, I assume the two points below are no problem for you. You just got a written paper accepted for its valuable contents and ideas. So this video will be about the first point, specifically about your ability to speak and record a talk for a virtual presentation. I know, research conferences are drawing us researchers from various corners of the earth and for many of us English is not a native language. This is one more reason to speak slowly enough and most importantly clearly. Less like this because I'm going to talk about my work and I will present something like And more like this. Hello there, my name is Letitia Parcalabescu and I'm going to talk to you about multimodality. Yay! The second point I'm going to talk about is smiling. You are presenting your work that just got accepted at a conference, so please do not speak like you are attending a funeral. Smile a little and this will not only enlighten your face, but also your voice will become more pleasant. Camera specifications are not exactly the most important issue here, since nobody wants to see all your pores on your face. But very important is the camera position. Many of us record with the laptop camera. This delivers the perfect angle for the viewer to inspect your nostrils. Keep in mind to place the camera aligned to your face to deliver an optimal result. Not everybody has a podcast microphone, but consider buying one. Kidding, kidding. <laughs> but whatever microphone you plan to use, do not choose the oldest iPhone headset lying around in your home, but perhaps consider buying a new one and spending 40 euros for a better microphone. No, they don't pay me for this. It will help you with recording, but also in the numerous Zoom meetings one needs to attend these days. If your microphone does not always have a white noise or a peeping sound attached to it, people will be involuntarily less disturbed when you are speaking to them. If your voice and audio are pleasant, people will be pleasant to you. Not all of us are perfect public speakers and while recording a video, there is also no audience hearing you right then. The lack of audience will not deliver you the adrenaline that would flow on a stage while speaking live. So the concentration is of course reduced while recording. This is why instead of doing N attempts until you do it all right, consider doing a minimum of cutting the video. Software like KDN Live is very easy to use and available for all operating systems. Possibly an alternative to post-editing is the compilation of a script to which you either stick closely or even read from. But it is very important to do two things if you are working with a script. Don't write it like you would write a paper, but write it like you would explain to a colleague what you are doing. Otherwise your audience will have a hard time understanding you. Secondly, do not forget to interpret this script. Say it like you mean it, like you would perform in theater. And the last tip I have for you. Relax. If you start some time in advance before the video handing deadline, you will have a lot of time for trial, for trial and error until you do it right. And if you are post-editing, do not hesitate to record everything in one imperfect cut. And, and, then, and then repeat the bad parts like nothing happened, because you will remove mistakes in post-editing anyway. I really hope that this video helps you record better videos. I am really curious to read about your experience in the comments. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And see you next time. Okay, bye.